Gene Kelly had he had Donald O'Connor, uh, Carol Lawrence, and himself, and um, he was also the executive producer, and he wanted to be involved in everything. Mm -hmm. So we shot the show, and that's when we, it's one of the it's the second show we did using the uh, double system a method of editing two inch videotape, where we used the film work print. Um, the director was Greg Garrison, another friend of mine. I'd done a lot of shows with him, including the Dean Martin roasts and a few others. And he came down because um, he had nothing else to do, so he sat down in the editing room and uh, was just watching while I was editing and once in a while I'd make some comments. And he was a smoker. And one day he had a cigarette and he uh, thought it was out and he dumped it in my wastebasket, but there was some pieces of rubber and paper in there and it caught on fire. And it started to smoke, and I guess he started to laugh, and the smoke drifted up into the tape room above us. And my boss was going berserk. He thought the place was on fire. He was going to have everybody abandon ship. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he didn't know what was going on until uh, uh, Greg Garrison went up there and told him what happened. He was about ready to kill him, you know, for just starting that little fire. But after that incident, um, Kelly decided that he wanted to come down and work with me. So I said, I really don't like working with stars because, you know, everybody's got an ego, and I didn't know anything about him. I'd never met him before, but I really didn't have much of a choice because he insisted on it because it was his show and his special, and he wanted to be in charge. Okay, have to do it. We were editing uh, along, and actually Kelly and I got along pretty well, and we used to go out to lunch together and things like that. One night, I was working, there was a little barroom sequence in the show, and I was working on it, and and I said, eh, I forgot to call my wife and tell her that I'm going to be home. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And Kelly says, go ahead, I'll finish watching this thing on the movie. Only he was sitting right next to me, and you can call your wife. So I called her, and I said, it's me. I says, yeah, I'm sorry, I missed dinner again. What am I, I, you know, I apologize. And she heard this barroom noise in the background, and she thought that, she said, are you in a bar? I said, no, I'm not in a bar. <laughs> I said, I'm here with Gene Kelly, and we're working on the sequence for the show. And I went on for about 30, 40 seconds, and Kelly looks at me, and he says, what's the matter? He says, my wife doesn't believe. She thinks I'm in a real bar. And she says, give me the phone. What's her name? Her name is Dee. He says, hi, Dee, this, this is Gene Kelly. Well, I, this friend of mine who was also an editor in the BC, Craig Curtis, was a kind of a practical joker, and she thought it was Craig trying to pull a, a little practical joke. He says, this isn't Craig. This is Gene Kelly. Don't you recognize my voice? He says, no. So he sang her a couple of bars from Singing in the Rain, and she finally realized it. And he says, now do you believe me? He says, yes, we are working. 